Hey guys, we're uh, Cuz Hunting 38. My name's Grant. My name's Landon. And, and we're gonna do some shed hunting today. It's uh, just getting to be some growth here, green growth around. It's actually really nice out. It's it, late. It's very late to go shed hunting, but we just thought, you know, it's Memorial Day 2012. And yep, we're just gonna go out and see and if we can find some extra sheds. And uh, well, let's get started here. This is our one tree stand or yeah. our tree season. This is a old tree stand there. And um, I was sitting in there last year while he was sick and um, seeing a nice seven point walk up through this field here. And um, oh, was he beautiful? His mass was huge and stuff like that. There was also an eight point with him, but I haven't seen him around. I think he might have got, got bagged. But well, well, well let's, let's get started. Get, let's get started here. We just found a nice shed. And we didn't touch it yet, so this is more of a surprise to you, us viewers, than it is to us. We'll come up to it. We, we, we well, can't not, even believe not, it. Um, one thing that you can tell about a buck is that if they drop their first side, they want to get the other side off immediately. So T Too much counterweight on them. And, uh, oh yeah, that's nice. It looks about white, isn't it? Yeah, it's old. But as you can see, there's like... I'm surprised nothing's been chewing on it. Right there? That means that it's, this buck was digging in this bush, trying to get it off immediately. Yep. And it, I think this is that seven point I've seen, or it could be the eight point, but this is early season he shed this. It's yep. real dirty. Base is nice. Yep. All right, well, stick with us, and let's see if we can find any more. Oh, hey yeah. guys, this is uh, Cuz Hunting 38, Grant and Landon here. And um, we're just walking down through the woods here, and we spot a shed right by the mud right here. It looks pretty big. We haven't touched it yet. I wanted you guys to see it down there, right there. And, uh, uh, this is landing here behind the camera. Uh, one technique that you get is, um, well, need to learn is, deer, like, in midwinter, they like going from their bedding to water sources and see how there's a lot of grass in here. So, it's really dirty. But look how thick that is. Holy crap. And that's got a nice base to it. But, um, as you, there's bamboo up there, wild bamboo, and we're in Maryland, so that grows, and they like to bed in that, and right here, there's some water there that they can drink. And and I was like dead, probably, I don't know if you guys know this, but this, all the black stuff here is dried up blood from velvet, and they shed their velvet, and, um, this is actually, this actually has a little bit extra velvet on it down here, had a lot. It's usual in bucks that have um, very thick base and um, have a lot of stickers. So. Well, and also, what's really unique is that the our one tree stand is about, what, 200, 300 yards up yeah. there? And we passed that field and that one bush where we found that one over there. And it's it's really awesome how... That's two for the day, and it's just awesome. Yep. We we'll usually we usually we don't get this lucky. And here we'll zoom up on this. Yeah, that, that's beautiful. Yep. Nice shed. Nice mature three-year-old buck. Yep. Well, keep going. Well, let's keep going here. Hey right. guys, Cuz Hunting Thirty Eight, Landon and Grant here. We just found another shed coming back up through the field. And uh, what's really cool is real matted down from deer all the time running through here, and. There's little chips and stuff right here where this buck, oh crap, this has been there for a little two bit. years. Oh yeah, it's, it, when you see horns that are really white and they're not chewed on, they might be chewed on a little, but hey. we don't have many squirrels around here from small game hunting. We just... Uh, you know what? What? This actually, from his earlier ages, look how it splits off there yeah. on the G2s and it's tines even. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know how that... Yeah, that actually might be. We we're, we should analyze that a little bit more. Get back to the house, but um. um yeah. That, yep. That's pretty neat. It's a well, baby buck. Our uh, horn so far. Put that up. So far, we got uh w one more little spot to look at, and um, down here. But I looking mean, down this there. Is where we see all the doe. Yeah, that. this is where we see all the bucks. This is like the. That's I'm not surprised we see all these horns. I mean, there's tons of more bucks in here, because we 
when we hunt in here, we don't usually, we don't take them all out. We're, this is our ranch. We, we preserve, a, yeah, this is our ranch, but, um, you know, we don't, we don't, we're not in fences. We let them go. We have there's, cattle right across the road over here. Yep, yeah, there's a road down there, and, um, yep, so. I think that's our, I doubt you can hear it, but that's, my dad is, um, out in the field bailing some hay. Uh, yep. I hear him on the tractor. But no. Yep. Yep. So we got one more little corner down there we'll to look stick at. With you know. us and we'll see what we can find. All right, let's go. We, uh, our hey last guys, spot. Cousin 38, Landon Grant. We found another one. Our last spot, we went up there. Um, about 50 yards. So. Yeah. Well, and we, we went down that corner down there. It was a bust. We didn't find anything. But we were coming back here. Uh, about ready to go shed side. hunting on this lady's property. Yeah, she let us go. And um, but yep, this is a. Uh, and it, it actually, here. This actually, it's a non. I think it's a non-typical. Yeah, I got a little key ring there and sticker. Got two but, down there. But um. And this is the best part of it all. It actually is a match to this one. We we we're pretty sure as of now they're both white. I mean they've been here a while. This buck has gotten a lot bigger since we know that. But as of now, we we really think that this. And and the G2s are about exact and everything, and I, I just think this is the same buck. It's beautiful, guys. It's nice. It's it's a nice it's a nice buck. I mean, it's a little baby buck. This Maybe is a uh, slants yeah. here. It's very slanted, very nicely. Um, and um, so that's probably why I like that. I'd never take them, but I mean, there's kids yeah. out there in PA that would love to take that buck. Yeah. But um. We're going to go looking for more, and if we find anything, uh, we'll let you know. All right. Thank you. Hey, guys. It's Cuz Hunting 38. We come back from shed hunting, Landon and Grant, and um, this is what we found. Uh, uh, two hours and success. Yep. We found a doe skull, too. We didn't put that on. Found uh, these two little ones. A lot of them are... You see how white they are? This is from uh, mainly being in the summertime. It uh, deteriorates all the... the the blood out of them. The blood out of them, yep, and all the carbons. Um, and, um. This is that one we found down by the water source. Yep. We found this. Just up up there. And the cartilage was with it. Yep. So it got shot probably in season. Not by any bus. So maybe got hit on the road. That one we found in the bushes. Yep, and we found and those two. And these two, two which there. we actually analyzed and they weren't a match. Yep. And we think it's the earlier stages of the other buck. Oh. All right. Um, All right. It's Cuz Hunt 38. Join us next time. Thank you. I'm Grant. It's Landon. All right. Thank you for watching.